Hi everyone, it's Lydia. I have a mini album to share with you ladies today. Ladies and gents, because some guys do like to uh, scrapbook. Um, I used, for this one I used the Kaiser Craft six and a half paper pad. And the collection is gorgeous. If you don't have it and you plan on making some Valentine projects, I would pick this up. And I just noticed this little angel in the back. I think I'll cut him out and make him into a tag. Oh, I can't believe I didn't notice that. So the mini is um, heart shaped and it measures approximately six inches wide by five inches tall. But you know, it has that little dip here, so it's shorter right here. And um, a lot of the accents, I used a, um, a gold foil pen. Karen used uh, this pen on a mini that she made. I'll give you a close-up so you can see what it looks like. It's made by Krylon. And I fell in love with the look, and this collection was perfect um, for me to use this pen on it because there's gold foil accents in the paper collection. And I was a little intimidated to use it because this is a paint pen, like real paint. <clears throat> and paint and me do not mix. I, I was afraid to use it, but uh, it was fairly, very easy to use. And I just love the look. So here's my cover. And the chipboard pieces were um, those mini albums they sell in Michaels in the dollar bin. I think I got this one last year. So here's the cover. And I used one of the uh, pieces on the front here from the collection. And it says, with love and devotion. Isn't that beautiful? And then I have two strips back here from the collection. One is this music note paper. And then I put the, one of the foil pieces in the center. And then I touched it there at the edges with the foil pen. And I bound it with some um, crinkled uh, seam binding. And then I added a um, Tim Holtz swivel clasp here. And then I created this little dangly thing. And I have a glass bead. I have this little blingy charm that's blue. And what else? I put a heart with the lock. And this one is plastic. It's got pretty iridescent color on there and I also added a key little key charm and then I finished it with this bauble and you know what these are ladies I got these at my uh, local dollar store they're the table scatter they're called table table scatter beads so they're inexpensive for a dollar I forgot how many they were in a bag maybe 15 or 20 I don't remember I sent some to my sister and I saw these in a video I think it was Damaris, I'm not sure. So, look how pretty that is. And then I added some flowers on the cover. This one is um a saw crafter. Love that. And then here on the back here is the recollections. And then there's this little uh, tool-like one from recollections. And then this little white flower was from... For the love of art and it's spelled the love is spelled l-u-v so if you want to check them out the bundles are really cheap they're under a dollar and this one was also from the love of art and then the one back here was a prima and then on each of the pages i added an eyelet and these are the medium-sized ones not the really tiny ones so that's the cover let's see if i can flip this without having any problems so this is the first page and it has that beautiful print that I don't want to cover with all the cherubs, angels, whatever those things are. And right here is another saw craft of flower. And here's a pin I created. And this little blue heart is glass bead. I picked that up at Walmart. I picked up uh, like a box of beads. I don't remember the make around them, sorry. And then here's another flower from, is that from the love of art? Yeah. For the love of art and then this is like my little uh, dupe cherry blossom 
you can see it. And I made that with um, the music note paper. And then these little pieces here, the st stamens, stamens, whatever those things are, they came from here, from this um, millinery flowers that I picked up at Walmart. In the bridal section, you get these. So check them out for our little inexpensive flowers. So I just added them to the center. And then for the flowers, these were punches. And this is the punch by EK Success. And I learned this from, um, let me get her channel. Her channel is, uh, I wrote it down here somewhere. I think it was Lee Loves something. Yeah, here we go. Love Lee's Scrapping. And I'll put her um, information in the description so you can go check it out. She makes some really beautiful um, cherry blossom dupes. And she teaches you how to make the stamens out of beads with wires. It's full tutorial. You'll, you'll enjoy it. And then this piece was from the collection, and I just bent the little edge there. So that's page one. Then for my second page, I just made it into a pocket page. And then this piece here was from the collection. It was like a paper um, border piece. And I just, again, edged it with the gold foil pen. And then these you can get from Saw Crafters. These little cute little florets there. You can use them individually or just use them in a strip like I did here. And then this gorgeous trim that I got from Karen. Thank you so much, Karen. This is like one of my favorite trims. I'm going to cry when I run out. And I added three tags, and these are, these are from the collection, and these have the gold foiling on them. This one. And then I glimmer mist at the back. This is supposed to look like that, ladies. You glimmer mist experts tell me. It's supposed to have a little splatter. Not that I don't, you know, I don't mind it. It looks cute, but I, I don't know if I'm doing it right. And then this little piece here, it's like the back of a letter. And you can add a picture back there or journal. And then on this one, I added um, a rose from For the Love of Art and some pretty pink ribbon here with the polka dots. And plenty of space in the back for a photo. So that's that page. And then, oh, this is one of my favorite pages. I love this page. I love the way it turned out because I love dress forms. <laughs> I've been using them like crazy on my minis. So here again, I took that um, saw craft trim and I just ran a, a bead of, you know, hot glue, work in sections because, you know, it dries quickly. And I just added the beautiful um, blossom trim all the way around. Well, halfway around, I should say. Right there. And then this dress form is from uh, Tim Holtz, the small dress form um, die. And I just painted it white and then with the nail file, I just distressed it a little bit. And then I added this pretty um, white and pink trim. Is there anything in the middle? No, white and pink trim. And then I added a couple of bits of tulle right here. And then this is that filigree butterfly that I've been using. It was an earring that I took apart and I colored it with the um, with that a pen, with the gold foil uh, gold leafing pen. I added a button, and here's another little dupe cherry blossom with the music notes and then this piece here that says made with love little journal spot and there's plenty of room here for a photo okay let's see what's next let's see I think it's this one <clears throat> okay this is another one of my favorite pages this one here it has this gorgeous bird and this little journal spot was from the collection and again I hit it with the um the uh, leaf pen around it and then this is a little silk flower I don't remember where I got it a little bling and this one is recollections and then right here there's this clip that Karen sent me and I colored it with the gold um, foil pen and then I added this little charm here and then again I did that little trick with the um, the paint where you put a little glob on your finger and you just run it across and then just wipe the rest of the paint off with your finger and it goes right into the um, engraved parts then I added just a bit of ribbon right here and then this piece comes out let's see if I can get this out without messing up the back 
Okay, this piece was from the collection. How pretty is that with the gold foiling? And then I just made it like into a little booklet. And like when I missed it at the back. So that goes back in there. Put it in before I lose it. And the next page is very simple. I added some pleated trim down here. Here's another roll of flowers. Journal spot. And this is the other side of the clip. I added some tool. And I added a little floret there. The individual piece. And then that's a little millinery flower. And here's another little rose. A little journal spot. And there's tons of room here for a photo. That paper is so beautiful. I love it. The next page, I hope I'm going in the right order, is this one. I like this piece here, Carte Postal. And there's plenty of room here for, I left it so you can still get your photo in there. Get your photo in there too. So that's that one, that's from the collection. And then over here I added some of that pink and white trim. And it's pretty, pink flower, and then this little piece here for a piece of trim that Karen sent me. It's dimensional, it's heart, has hearts on it, I love it. And then this one is Recollections, and I added another little sock craft of flower on there. And I love this music note paper, so pretty. That's the one I used to make the little dupe cherry blossoms. And my battery's dying. Here's another one of my favorite pages. I love this one. And um, this is a Maya Road bird. And again, I distressed it and added a little pearl for his eye. And then here's a journal spot, or you can add a photo there and some more flowers. And then this little piece is a booklet. I added a little, another rose there with a piece of ribbon. This opens up, and then the back has a bird. And you can also add it down here if you want it. I have it off top. And then the last page is this one. I have a Maya Road envelope, Maya Road envelope. This is a pretty bird cage here. And then I added another um, tag from the collection. And then I stamped it on the back. I stamped the bird cage and I also glimmer misted it. Oops, I can't see. And then over here it says, 10 things I love about you. And here I have Martha Stewart butterfly. Here's another piece from the collection. Uh, there we go. Boy, little boy and a girl, so cute. Some more saw craft the trim. And this little piece here from Tim Holtz, garment pin. And then this is the back of the mini. So that's my mini ladies. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Post a comment if you wish. Have a great day. Bye.